Oh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, I want you to try to guess the model of this truck. Just a little game, I guess. And uh, we're, we're, I'm not going to tell you anything about it, except that it's, it's got a C-15 in it. And we're hauling Pinkus flatbed. You try to guess, oops, wrong button. You try to guess the, the model of the truck. But we're going to be taking uh, marble plates from Galveston, Texas, from the GMC dealer here, to Longview, Texas, to the Turner Construction. Uh, 76,544 pounds, 325 miles. So let's get underway. I hope y'all are doing well. Hope your family are well. I'm getting there. Heavy haul, so we're going to turn the lights on. And it happens to be raining, yay. Um, I, uh, I've only been doing, I did only one video because this, uh, knee is trying to, you know, work the knee and get used to re reworking it and everything is, uh, taking a lot out of me. So I didn't get a video done, a uh, second video done. I will get back to doing two as soon as I start getting back to where all the exercises that are having me do with the knee aren't tearing me up. appreciate all the well wishes I thank you for that thank you to the new subscribers uh, if you like the video you like what you see give a thumbs up like subscribe hit the bell for upcoming videos doesn't cost you anything it supports the channel and uh, if you figure the truck out put your comments in the b below right. and I'll let you know next video <laughs> yeah I know you gotta wait a whole video come on dude push the gas to get it to go and not die. I do like this truck. I think it runs fairly well. You know it's a Peterbilt. <laughs> you can see that. Fairly certain you know the, the, the brand, but who makes it? Not Peterbilt, but who the, who the modder is. Yeah, it's not an SES truck. considers too fast what you 
take some of those corners out, but the tires want to do it, they don't want to turn, they want to go straight. But if you take off his rims and put different rims on there, and put different tires on there, you can hang that corner, you can hang those corners, but I don't, well, he's got nice tires, they just don't, they got no grip. Fantastic trucks, though. I mean, come on. It's like Ironworks. I like Ironworks truck. Oh, that W9? Yep. That thing's got some aggressive tires on it. Let me tell you, that thing will hold the ground. Definitely need to get an upgrade on the steering shifter and pedals because I have the G27 so it's all one unit. You can't separate any of these units. They just don't work without it. I mean, I tried to use a different sh shifter one time and yeah, that didn't work. So it's going to have to be an upgrade, more than likely, uh, if I go to any other Logitech, it's not bad because the uh, shifter is sold separately, but this one was all one one deal, the shifter, the leather wheel, the, the metal pedals, you know, the leather and steel shifter. The only thing I'm really having a problem with is, is the pedals. Otherwise, this thing is still solid after nine years. I really hate to get an upgrade because this thing has been faithful and doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, we're going to get a little wet here and we're going to roll the windows down for you let you hear the sounds of ATS.
like how that did with the rain. It kind of stayed right there like the window was there, but looks like it was on the inside. <laughs> We're going to slow this puppy down just a tad in the rain here. We shouldn't have had a whole lot of time in the dark, but now uh, it might be a little bit in the dark since I slowed the speed down, being that the road conditions were not that hefty. I'm hoping when I get down with this worker's comp stuff, I can... through and uh, Keep right and then exit right. get uh, some of the things I need to replace like a keyboard right. and I want to get my new reservoir and pump combo PC. Then I can start working with the uh, rigid tube, buy a heat gun, and oh geez, start working with that and see if I can't get them bent. Or if I have to fork out two hundred dollars in fittings. the fittings to bend, you know. That would be the easiest way to go, but I want to try to bend the tubes myself. I had a friend of mine do my other computer. I would like to try to do this one. Yeah, the one that's got most more tubing to put in it because the, the, the motherboard gets cooled as well as the CPU and the GPU. You can only think of the mess that would have happened if... Uh, please stop. Please stop. Thank you. Uh, if I would have went with the uh, NVMe coolers that are liquid. Yeah, they have those too. But, there really wasn't any advantage to liquid cooling those. The uh, stock thermal plate that goes over the top of the NBME is, was out of testing from Jay's two cents was the better one, so. And I'd like to get, uh, 
my new monitor so I can give my daughter this 32 inch I'm on now uh, which is bigger than the one she's got and I'll take the one she's got and use it as a second monitor and I think it's uh, 24 inch Need something that big? Uh, no, not really. I could probably suffice with a 21, but that means buying another monitor altogether. And why buy one when I got one? Although then I could put the 24 inch away in case something happens to one of the other monitors. But the only one that's been having that problem is my grandson. First one he got mad to a controller at. Mm -hmm, he did without a monitor for a while. Second one he slipped on some because we got tile floors and I guess there was a zip lock on the floor that he didn't see and he stepped on it and fell and put his head right against the monitor. So that wasn't his fault, really. I mean it wasn't. He fell over there and he fell against his desk and everything else, so. Won't fault the kid for that. I don't like tile floors for that reason, man. You, you a little piece of paper left on the floor and it could make stepping and walking and stepping around things really interesting. Multiple occupants in an AI vehicle. That one looks like you've got two others with the driver. Interesting. You don't normally see that. And if it was GTA 5, that was how you know it wasn't an AI, but a real person.
like it is. It's getting stronger every day, but it's getting weird trying to put all my weight on it. Yep, mischief. Saw that coming. It's gonna happen. I mean, I can stand on it. I can't fully bend it yet. You know, the, the full range like you would be able to like to put my legs under my chair I can get the left one there I can't do no, I'm not even gonna try that with the right yet so it, it's I can't put pressure on the knee itself uh, and I smacked it last night in my sleep so yeah that wasn't a good thing Y'all figure it out yet? Who the modder is that does this truck? Oh, dog, I hit the wrong button again. new keyboard uh, a replacement keyboard keys are closer than they used to be I mean I had, I had a space between my F keys and my number keys and then Keep this one I don't
destination. straight on. You're going to have to check the settings after we deliver and make sure that I've got everything turned right for like the roads and the shifter torque. The acceleration torque where you accelerate the front end lifts up. I don't think this one has that because it's been a while since I've been able to use this profile for unknown reasons. cabin light it works off the uh, I'm believing it works off the uh, yep works off the headlights so when you turn your Keep parking right lights on it and then turn right shines right. red inside turn right Oh, we 
got a little bit of dark time. Sorry about that. I try to keep it in the daytime for y'all. And we'll give a one more walk around. Let y'all look at the truck one more time, see if you can figure it out. And we're going to be here, Turner Construction. This is where it is. Why it does that work? Kind of track IR kind of goes wherever it wants. Pingus trailer, flatbed, renegade, Fontaine renegade, and there's the truck. So tell me what it is. Well, I ain't got nothing to give right now. <laughs> Why are those white? Interesting. Ah. Huh. All right. So we're here. We drop 325 miles, eight hours, 51 minutes to do the job. 63.2 gallons of fuel consumed for it. Well, that's gonna do it for this one, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Bye.